Hi, my name's Phil Wadler. I'm professor of theoretical computer science at the University of Edinburgh. Science is all about making unexpected connections. So what I want to talk to you about is the connection between the programming language Java, developed towards the end of the 20th century, about 10 years ago, and formal logic, which I represent here with an upside down A, which stands for for all, developed about 120 years ago towards the end of the 19th century. Let's start by talking about Java. Java became very popular because you can use it on your web browser or even on your phone. And the reason it's so popular is because it enforces security using a type system. Why is security important? Well, what you do not want is when you download a program from the web for it to go searching through your computer memory or the memory in your phone and finding, say, your credit card number and sending that off to, say, Russia. So the type model prevents that from happening. Where do these types come from? Well, types were first introduced by formal logicians. As I said, they started working about 120 years ago. Why were they interested in formalizing logic? Well, at the time, and to this day, mathematicians tend to get into arguments. Is this an OK way to reason about things or not OK? So what Gottlob Frege and others want to do was make it so simple that even a computer could tell if a mathematical argument was sound or not. That was pretty amazing because, of course, 120 years ago, we didn't have computers. But this is, in some sense, where the idea of computers came from. Now, you wait many years, and eventually, the notion of computer program became clarified from the notion of logic, and people began to realize that these things were very closely linked. That a proof in logic and a program could actually be exactly the same thing. Now, one of the most amazing demonstrations of this is that in the 1970s, Professor Robin Milner, who was professor of theoretical computer science at the University of Edinburgh, the post I hold now, used for all to come up with a really great type system for a programming language he called ML. At the same time, the logician Roger Hindley at Swansea came up with exactly the same thing for logic. So two people independently discovering the same thing because the same idea was there. Now, this was a great idea. And myself and my colleagues, who at the time were at the University of Glasgow, put it into the programming language Haskell. And then from there, many years later, I helped to put it into the programming language Java. And so that's why when you use Java, you will find logic inside.